So Sacred Heart of Jesus, this is your pastor, Father Zars, coming to you from our beautiful narthex here at the parish. You guys, we have a major feast coming up on June 7th, and I just want to, it's going to be an opportunity for us to put a stake in the ground and to write history together. I want to consecrate the entire parish, every family, every person to the Sacred Heart of Jesus on the feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So for those of you that are wondering, well, Father, what is a consecration? So the church, in her, in her storied history, time and again, there have been consecrations made to the two hearts of Jesus and Mary. This particular consecration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus goes back to the 17th century to St. Margaret Mary Alacoque. It was actually a request that Jesus made for us to commit to devotion to his Sacred Heart. And in exchange for this commitment to honoring his most sacred heart, he promised graces for all of us that were willing to do, to do this for him. And so we just want to be really clear, since our parish is named after the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we want to consecrate every year on June 7th, which is the feast, to honor his request. Throughout the, throughout the story of salvation history, in every chapter, in every season, and in every age, there have been certain challenges that have faced the church. And in Western Europe, especially in France, in the 17th century, there was a tremendous heresy that was rocking the church. And it was a heresy that left many Christians and many Catholics feeling undeserving of God's love. And so to counter this, the Lord began appearing to St. Margaret Mary Alacoque with, with a message of love and a message of mercy and a request, come to me, come to my most sacred heart, beg me for the grace that flows from this sacred heart. There are living streams that are ushering grace. And for those of us that are just wounded, broken, human, <laughs> we need to run to the sacred heart of Jesus and we need to invoke these graces that he is only too ready to share because his sacred heart, he has revealed many times, it burns for the conversion of sinners. It burns for the salvation of souls. He hungers and he thirsts for our love. So that's, that's much of what this whole consecration is about. We just want to satiate the thirst that is in the sacred heart of Jesus. So for those of you that are wondering, how are we going to do this, Father? What does it look like to consecrate our campus? So we're going to begin in the church with adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. And then I need at least 200 parishioners. Surely I can find at least 200. We're going to actually make a perimeter all the way around the, the perimeter of the campus. We're going to have parishioners that are offering the rosary together. And at the end of the rosary, we're going to take a miraculous medal and we're going to bury it in the ground. And we're going to thus consecrate the entire perimeter of the entire campus, which represents every registered family, every person here at Sacred Heart of Jesus. So for those of you that are able to make it for adoration, for the rosary, for the consecration, to bury these medals, we're, we're going to then celebrate together as a family right here in the courtyard between the MPC Center and right here, the narthex of the church. We're just going to have a social so we'll have some ice cream. We're gonna have an opportunity just to spend some time, let the kids run. It's just gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be such a beautiful event. And I'm hoping that all of you come join us. We have a huge mission here at the parish that we are looking to continue discerning with God's help. We need all of the prayer cover. We need all of the protection that we can get. And that's exactly why we wanna put this consecration right here at the beginning, year one together of this chapter.